Hello, welcome to another card game. Apparently the card games are coming back very very furiously. I will try the tutorial. I usually I don't play these demos before they are released or before the game is released because I don't think that's as important as you know getting the first impression. So I guess you have cards that have four numbers on them and the power wins depending on the side. So I guess this is the side they'll be attacked on. That means we win. So we captured the enemy card, okay. And beats you. Uh, the, you have to look at the color. You know me, I don't like games that are related to color, but that's how it is. So this is won by the enemy. Sword, symbols, defeat, all numbers. Swords are not unstoppable. So the magic beats the sword. Oh, but magic cannot defend. Okay, and the shield cannot be captured or captured. Okay, at the 2 and 3. The bow beats the enemy at a distance. Okay. But uh, no one can defeat it at close range. Uh, this is a bit annoying. As you can see, you get. You will capture a lot of cards and you lose a lot of cards. The bow is captured. Hmm. The hero and their power. Oh, that was strong. Okay, so if we take the, out the, this guy... Uh, I don't know. I don't know about this. I thought the game would be a little more straightforward, but because the game is so weirdly placed, it's like you're playing Sudoku on a, a combat game. I don't know, I was expecting more from the gameplay side of the game, not just, you know, planning and doing stuff like that. I'm not sure I like the game. <sighs> we'll play with Voldurker. Oh yeah, well, let's start around. Yeah, I don't know. Games like this kind of bore me because I thought it's going to be more related to the tactical side, but it's a strategical area. You need to win all of the. Basically, can win the entire game with a single card, and that's something I don't like. Yeah, let's go up there. So it's our turn. I guess we have to start with a card that's very strong. Oh, that's a bo That's almost like a boss card. As you can see, when you actually play the game, not everyone will put the cards near your card. So, eh, that's going to be a lot of fun. Figuring out what the enemy does. I guess we'll have the... Sword be our last card or our triumph card. Just need someone with a, a very weak attack over there. Oh, that's a wall and he put his card over there. So that means we need something stronger than 7 below to do that. I think if it's the same number, it doesn't really work. So let's flank the enemy like this. Yeah, you can do that all you want, I don't care. Let's also put the goat over here, which will help us win another area. 
Now he's really attacking me with that card. It's kind of pointless to put another card over there because we already own that place. Yeah, let's do it like this. Depends on what the enemy has to play with. I mean, you can see all of their deck, and so it gets kind of annoying. Wait, why is this card not flipped? Why this card? I don't get it. And this is, shouldn't that be blue? Well, I guess he didn't lose any combat, and he didn't win any combat. So if you put a card down and he doesn't win the combat, it basically stays red. Well, that's annoying. Very annoying. Because all of his cards are over there, and there's not much I can do about it. I guess you can flip the last card. You'll flip another one. Well, the card that I put over here doesn't really matter, and he'll not have a stronger card than mine. So I guess we win by default, almost. But that was actually more interesting than I thought. That's a shop, probably. Okay, let's see if we can win all of the fights. Now, as you can see, the cards of the enemies are not very strong, and after you play a few rounds, you can probably guess what to play almost every round. Wait, I should, are these the same cards? I'm not sure if they are the same cards or not, or we don't have that available to us. Well, then I guess you should start with a very, very weak card. Force the enemy to play like that, and then you can take his card, but as since you don't get back your card. Oh, that's going to be annoying. Because all of my cards are kind of like right centered. Oh well. How do I get that card back? Well, I guess we don't get that one back. It is not now. Yeah, he has to play some very weird hands now. And I think I should keep that in reserve for a little longer. He'll probably attack this card from below. Oh, no? huh, weird. Yeah, I'm not really thinking over here. I'm just on autopilot now. Got that one. The draw? Oh man. Yeah, I I can see a lot of problems because basically you have to write it down on paper if you want this to work, but boring. I'm not the type of, of uh, person that does this in the game. Beat that. I'm just mostly going to play reactively and I'm going to play some cards down that will enable me to win a few rounds here and there. Now, since this is my card, I don't care. Can I take it away from me? That's a draw. Very sneaky of him. Yeah, he had no choice over there. I guess you can also play this over here since it will be the best way to use the card. No, oh, he had the bow. Okay, no problem. I have this. The card over here, I'll play the Demon Skull Cap. Wow, that was unexpected, really. Another draw. Yeah, I don't think I like this gameplay style. It, they're trying to do something different, but as you can see, something different doesn't always mean something better or something good. 840, those are so expensive. Oh, if I had only 20 more gold, that's stupid. Why, why do they give me... 20 less gold than what I would need to buy the maximum. Eh, it's stupid. It's really stupid. But if I want to sell a card, uh, I guess also gain experience. I'm not sure what the experience does for them. You know what? I'm so upset I'm not buying anything. Okay, I guess we'll always have to start the same way. Since this is kind of like our strongest card. I think we need at least one point to attack this card from here, maybe. 
Nah, we have nothing for the left. I can play the little tiger over here. We'll force to play something here, yes. Then we'll go on the reactive attacks like this. Oh, but you'll flip that and that, yeah. I don't like this, yeah. Definitely not for me, because the way the range cards work is stupid. I, I don't like it. You can probably do some very, very weird stuff with the range cards. I mean, the other cards are very good, and I kind of see the idea behind them, but I mean, the range cards just ruin, ruin all of the balance of the game. Because they flip your cards, and there's no way to unflip your cards. Which means you're going to be working overtime to just fix what a single range card does, and that's boring to me. Because of how limited the deck is in the beginning. I don't want a shield, I want something to attack. Cannot upgrade anything, sure. No, I have five more supplies, okay, so it's per supply. So, any card, uh, I guess you can check it out. No, you need to have at least one point in attack to change the card. <laughs> You see what I mean? The what? What does this even mean? Game? What is this supposed to mean? This feels like it's a bug. I don't know. Could do, yeah, yeah let's, let's just abandon the one. I don't know what that was. Let's have perks and some other stuff that I can use to change the cards. Buy a perk. So I can get more supplies. Different heroes have different perks? No. Interesting. Okay, let's start another one. We'll play a little more. I don't know what happened there with the cards. Seems like it was very weird and buggy. I don't care what you say to me. Shop is over there. We'll try again to reach the shop. This time we'll play a little better and we'll also have different cards now. Oh, wow, they are much weaker, but they have a range card. That doesn't really help me. Yeah. That's a lot of weak. This his deck is very weak from what I can see. What? That's silly. Why did he do that? No idea. That's a six, but it's still very weak. Can flip it around to almost any card. Doesn't matter. Yeah, what is this guy doing? He, he, I think he's trying to lose on purpose or something. Blue wins. Of course, we we always win. <laughs> Other cards, shield cards, magic. Wow, they're really magical and cool looking. We can even afford them. I guess you get more money in the more gold in the beginning. Want to lose the big horn? Yeah, I want to let's see one boss.
This is the same stars more or less. What? Why, why is this thing over here? I guess I can try and do it like this, but then it will block me out of that area and I don't want to do that. Well, I guess this will be enough. Hmm. Okay, let me think about this. As you can see, the enemy will not use their moves and the Scorpion is almost useless because of the way the enemy plays their cards. So it's one of those games where the AI can abuse some cards and you cannot even use some of your other cards just because it requires so much brain power. Like I said, this is not for me. I prefer to play my card game super, super fast. And this is anything but fast. I think we can do it like this and then force him to play over here. And that was interesting, so we can do that as well. I didn't think about that, sadly. That's annoying. I lost already. I'll try and play catch up, but there's no way I'm going to recover. What does this mean? What? I played your stupid tutorial and this was not covered in the tutorial. I guess if you have the same value as the enemy card, it just puts your card out. What does this mean? Why? Uh, man. I really don't understand. I mean, I was enjoying the game and then you get a situation like this where if you have the same numbers, apparently it's a draw, but it just puts the card out. And I, I can't continue playing. You know, it, things like this make me very mad. I'm not sure if this is a bug or not. Let me see, the game should be released by this point of the day. Yeah, it was... I mean, it was in early access for two years almost. And it should be released in a day or two, I think. I don't understand this. Why? why? What, what does this mean? Why does it move the card in another way? I cannot press anything and then I... Uh, let's see if that is the case. So if you have a draw, they will do something to your cards. Wait a minute, let's look at the tutorial again. I just have no patience for stuff like this anymore. It just feels like it's a waste of my time, to be honest. I played your tutorial. Why doesn't it explain that situation or you have a draw? Yeah, you call this a tutorial, but as you can see, it never tell, tells you what happens if you have a draw. Okay, what? But let's let's give it one more try to be convinced at least that that's the case. That you, if you cause a draw, it, something really happens. Something really weird happens. Yeah, okay, let's enter the game again. <laughs> I just have zero patience for this. Why? Why do games that have some potential? Please end up making some weird things that I don't understand and have something like this. It's also much better to just start the game until you get a better deck of cards, which is obvious, painfully obvious. It's painfully obvious. Well, that's going to be a very hard card to flip. Let's see. No, so that's definitely a bug or something. Because it was a tie and nothing happened. It's actively avoiding putting its cards a certain way. I think I lost this already just because I was messing around too much. 
Okay, so the best way to win is to actually have two cards near each other and flanking each other because that means these cards all will be locked forever. Yeah, I lost this already because of... Yeah, what? yeah to be honest, I think the, the fact that the game had those bugs just annoys me to no end and... Probably that's why I'm not going to play the game ever again. Again, most games get only get one chance to be f to be interesting or fun, and this game kind of lost it for me, especially because some of the mechanics are so annoying. And the fact that you get random cards when you start the game, what is the point of this? It's going to be random. Yeah, you can out you can beat the enemies much faster if you have certain cards, but at the same time, it's purely RNG based. I thought it was going to be either ah whatever. Whatever, let's play another one because the RNG from the arena plus the RNG from the cards plus the RNG from the AI player playing a certain way is just annoying and it's too much for my taste. Yeah, let's force it to play bad over here. So that's a 6, that's very bad for me because I cannot turn it now. It's actually a well balanced card. He wants to lock in that victory over there, but that's okay, that's exactly what I wanted. Or was it exactly? No, it's not what I wanted. I hope he doesn't make a card over here, he doesn't push for a card over there, okay. That was scary because I had no way out of that one. We'll put a card here. Yes. Perfect. And again, not perfect because I played that very badly, but I wanted to put another card over here in the final round, more or less. And it doesn't really matter because I won. See? It's too much RNG based in my opinion, you don't even have to play the game very well or understand what's happening over here. I don't know, maybe if they fix that weird bug that I had and if they polished... To be honest, it's been, it's been a while since the game was out and I don't think much will change anyway. So again, developers just be, be very careful. A game like this should never have bugs and also the balance of the game is very bad just because of all of the RNG that is thrown inside of it. So uh, I don't know, it could have been interesting but I find it very boring already. So I guess it will be a very, very, very niche game for people who like this type of chess card. It takes during matches. Oh, and it seems like it's also time based. I think this will have some meaning at some point. Anyway, anyway, I get a code for free, so thank you, developers, for that. But what can I say? Good luck with your game. It's just not my style. I don't like being pressured. I don't like RNG games. I don't like chess. I, I don't know. A lot of the things just don't resonate with me. I'm, I like very fast card games, and this will be a very slow game that feels like chess. Not exactly what I would call fun. I'm not a Sudoku type of person. Anyway. It's not such a bad game, but still, let me look at the price. Maybe the price will give us more insight or if it's good or not. The price is 15 euros. Nope, I don't think... 50, yeah. Probably the price should be reduced, it's just my personal opinion, because it seems like there are some missing features of the game or there could be much better explained or much better done, I don't know. It seems like even at the full release, the game would need a total overhaul and rebalance of the mechanics, because... Again, it's too much RNG based on a few factors that are not um, that are, are not dependent on the player. Anyway, good luck. Bye bye.